Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Make sure the mind doesn't go slipping away. This is work to be done right here. It's good work. Work in a sense of ease. You don't have to go out laboring under the sun and sweating a lot. But it does mean you have to keep watch over your mind. And for a lot of us, that's something we're not very good at. The mind wanders around all day, wherever it wants to go. So we're trying to exert some control over it. And the best way to do that, of course, is to make the breath comfortable, make it interesting. Notice different ways of breathing. Which kind of way of breathing would feel good right now? What does the body need right now? Focus on meeting its needs. As for other distractions, just let, let them go. You're exerting some control over your mind. This is an important part of the practice. And the mind that's out of control is like giving your car to a crazy person. The mind is what drives your life. If it's not under control, what are you going to do? A crazy person drives off the road, a crazy person drives into other people. They realize it's a crazy person, but they hold you responsible for having given the car over to that person. In the same way, the mind does some crazy things, and the defilements that make it do crazy things, then they go running away. And you're left with a karma. So you have to be very careful about what you allow to order your life around. Get some control over your mind. As the Buddha said, the mind well trained brings peace, brings happiness. And this is what he means getting some control over what you're doing and saying and thinking. Thinking about the consequences before you think anything or say anything or do anything. In other words, exert some restraint over your mouth, over your body, over your mind. And at the first, the mind is going to rebel. It's going to feel like it's hemmed in. But what are you hemming it away from? putting up a fence so it doesn't go into swamps, so it doesn't go into deep chasms, so it doesn't get itself into trouble. So even though it may not feel like it's as free as it could be, still it's free in the areas that are useful, free in the areas that are skillful. So when you think of restraint as freedom, it's a lot easier to do it, a lot easier to exercise it. You're freeing yourself from all kinds of bad karma. And that's a lot better than the freedom that comes when you just let your defilements take over and let them do whatever they want. Because as I said, they're not responsible. You're the one who allows them to have power, and then you're the one who's going to reap the results. They run away. So for the sake of your happiness, the sake of your well-being, for the sake of your freedom, learn to exercise some restraint. Get some control over your mind. And you find that the freedom that comes from a well-controlled mind may be something you wouldn't expect, but it goes deep down inside.